Hey guys, it's Jamie, back once again with some more tips on 3D printing. So, uh, what you see here are calibration cubes, and you can see that there's a slight height difference between the two of them, and I'm going to get into that in a second. So, while printing in my BB-8 here, I noticed there was some severe gaps in between the parts. I was going, what the heck, this is, should be printing out fine, don't know what the problem is. Uh, so, I ended up printing out the calibration cubes here. Now, what you'll need, obviously, is a micrometer or a, um, a digital caliper set. And essentially what I ended up doing was uh, I printed it out, and these are 25 by 25 by 25. So 25, 25, 25. And essentially what I did is printed them out and then measured them. So the first one that I got was the one here on the right. And when I get my calipers to turn on here, there we go. Um, they measured properly on each side, roughly. I mean, there's a little bit of a, depending on which way you go, but it's 24.2. You can get it up to 25. It's, they're also on a heated bed right now, so they're, they're probably a little bit shrunken. But um, So essentially, I measured uh, top to bottom on this. And this is 24 something, and this is 25 something. So I figured there was a problem with my, uh, my Z height. Uh, so, uh, what I ended up doing was I measured my rods that control that, and it looked like essentially the rods were set up for six or seven millimeter rods. These are five. So there's a there's calculators online where you can go and check your 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 rod size and everything else, and then they give you code that you can end up putting into your uh, G code that you can end up putting into your uh, Putting application. So what I ended up doing was adding this line here, the one that's highlighted, and reprint it again. And that's when I got the 25 millimeter part by 25 by 25. So, um, which is good. So now uh, I've te test printed a few pieces here, and these pieces are pretty, pretty good. There's no gaps in between them anymore. Uh, this green part actually ended up warping a little bit, as you can see there, just because it's ABS, the other one's PLA. So there's some things I gotta do to make that change. That's basically changing the heat or the temperature of, of the bed uh, while it's printing. So hotter when it's starting up and then cooler when it starts getting higher up. So, but pretty good overall. There's no more gaps in between the panels now. And uh, that, was an, that was an error that ended up happening because I was just doing a test print. Um, but anyways, so uh, that's pretty much about it for that. So if you if you have misfitting parts, you, you're working on your CAD and whatnot, and they're not fitting properly uh, like that there, uh, you might want to print yourself out a set of test cubes and then uh, or calibration cubes and then uh, go from there. So if you guys have any questions about this video or anything else 3D printed related, leave them in the comments section down below. Like, subscribe, and share. It always lets me know that you guys enjoy these videos. And as always, guys, do your thing. Thanks for watching.